Good morning, Star Citizens. Is what is today? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, December first, two thousand twenty. Dive into some Star Citizen, shall we? Hey, Lee, good afternoon. Hey, Moonshadow, Plonix, Mediocre, Apollo, good to see you guys. Hey, Sidewinder, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Moon. All right, good job, Moon. Wish I uh, wish I had a trophy to give you. I'm I'm all out though. Hey Zelcon. Hope everyone is doing okay. Oh yeah, Moon. We're uh not flying again, just about uh <coughs> every day. Hey, Moon Hopper, not that so bad. Uh, still some rough sleeping, unfortunately, but other than that, doing doing okay. Ah, ha, ha, Tio. Yeah, you see, Tio, like, usually I delete the, uh, the bots that like to comment on things, and, uh, like, sometimes I just either don't get around to it, or, like, I'll actually comment on them, too, but, uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll be leaving that one up. Uh-oh, Mediocre, what, what did you do? I feel like it has something to do with the Star Citizen website and a, uh, a purchase. Ho ho ho, Lonix! Yeah. Good job. That is uh that is one hell of a uh, a purchase list. I'm, I'm proud of you. A lot of a little astounded actually. Oh yeah, Moon. Have uh, have you been enjoying the uh the Star Runner? Really, really enjoy flying it. Oh, mediocre, a whole D, really? Nice. Hey, one. Eh, not so bad. Sleep has been a little chappy, but nothing we can't, uh, you know, push through. Also, good afternoon, Gruff. Eh, I mean, no, so so. Still feeling kind of, kind of shot, but all right. Hey, Jimothy, good to see you again. Our our elevator is coming, right? Uh, guitars. A lot of them are copied. Like it's the uh, the thing like where it messes up and it copies a uh. A ship over. Because believe me, I do not own all those caterpillars. Like, a couple of them are, are loaners for things, you know, like the C2, and uh, a lot of them are copies. Because, you know, the uh, the whole claim issue. Oh, yeah, Gruff. I mean, let's, you know, let's go back to it. Since uh, she didn't get a skin this year. Thank you, Boone. Also, Parker, good to see you. Yep, 
You know, Poe, that's something I would I would easily do. Like if we could, you know, take the modules off. Because once upon a time, due to uh, poor communication skills, CIG said something about stacking like 15 caterpillar uh, modules on top of each other, which gave everyone hope of having like a, a super pillar. Oh, wow. Well, you know, we finish fish class first. You know, first class, then uh, then spaceship. Oh man, Tio, that's a, that's a list. Yeah, I kind of enjoy doing the CCU game. Like, it's pretty much the game within the game. Let's see, who do we have around? We've got a black in here. Caterpillar. Like, that's it? Okay, I can, uh... I can deal with that. All right. Don't like him looking at us, though. Get out of here, shall we? Quantum drive is now on. Oh, Moon, you bought the Nova today. Have you have you been flying it? Do you enjoy it? You know, Moon, all these caterpillars are beautiful butterflies in my book. I remember when they came out way back in, like, 2.6. Hey, Evans! Titanium run! Good job! That's right, Parker. That's one they've developed because it's the most profitable. Ooh, Zelgon, a Vulcan. I've got a Vulcan in buyback. I just... I don't know. I think I'm waiting for it to come online. Drive is now off. Which will probably be a long, long time from now. Also, is Ida just looking better today? Has there just been a very long time since I've been here? It looks so... sharp. Oh, nice, Moon. Yeah, that mission still doesn't pop up for me. I don't know what's up, but the uh, Shady Glen does not like me uh, coming around anymore. Yeah, mediocre. I'm wondering how they're going to uh, going to balance all that out because the SCU is uh, astounding, but you know CIG really love controlling their. Okay, it's Raven. All right. So I see that blip on my radar. Yeah, mediocre. They've got to really adjust the economy for that. Granted, port-to-port -port training isn't really a lot of flying either. It's basically, you you buy your cargo, you jump, 
you pull in like what 20 kilometers and that's uh, that's it yeah Coyote, I think you're right and right now we've only got three cargo decks anyway hey tripper yeah man Thanksgiving wasn't too bad at all hope yours is going all right uh this though this puts a damper in my day so I guess we are going elsewhere well Raven nothing to buy here and yeah tripper you are welcome yeah the Florian run is actually an incredibly decent run and um you know, if no one else is doing it, like it, it can pretty much rival titanium if you're if you're fast enough. Oh yeah, Tripper, I just don't feel like waiting for ten minutes. That's a lot of time on the ground, and it looks like they've actually adjusted it to about fifteen. So I'm not I'm not gonna spend fifteen minutes on the ground waiting for this uh, for that to populate. I will just go elsewhere. Ah, uh, Tio, that's fair. Yeah, that merchantman just went so, so further up. Ah, uh, you think so, Moon? I just hate to be a target, you know? Hey, Maladox, welcome back, man. I guess we could wait around. I mean, otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing the, uh... Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing the flooring run. We all know that's profitable, but uh, we should go check out the stuff. Wait, hold on. Mediocre, is there a ship Q&A on Friday? Like, just any ship, or, or what? Raven, I want that landing gear. Ah, he'll figure it out. Ooh, any ship. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I might actually have to participate in that. Uh, Drake Lobster win? Ah, any flyable ship. All right. I've got a timer set. It's just uh oh, so annoying. I go do donuts in the in the gray cat while we wait. All right, where is the vehicle terminal? Woodruff. Like at least at least Ida is pretty. I guess. Did I pass it on the left? Uh, of course the stream delay of me like turning around. Oh, Raven, no. And of course the storm. All right, tell you what, I can I can get you back into your ship uh, if you give me just one moment. Um, join me, join me on the caterpillar. Oh no, Parker, let's go ahead and take three point thirteen. In fact, let's just get it, you know, knocked out early uh, in uh, in twenty twenty. 
So what does rest 3.12 and 3.13? Just, just all at once. Ah, oh, no, Tripper, you're fine. Like, so it was probably on my left, and I was just spinning so much that there was no way for me to actually keep up. It's probably, it's probably over there. Ugh. Hate these storms on Ida. Yeah, guitars, I'm good with that. Alright. Raven, just uh, go jump on the uh, the front, like on the lip. And I will just park the lip at the ramp. Hey, Niccolo. Good evening to you. Hope you are doing all right. All oh, right, the stupid buck again. I don't know why he likes to do this. Oh yeah, Tripper, you and me both. Gonna be sad when the caterpillar loses her uh, her super special status. Hey, Miguel, welcome back. You're performing a rescue. Raven, are you still on the front? I don't see you. Oh. Yeah, Raven, I think you may have, uh, may have bit the dust. Did you fall out? Are you still alive? If so, just uh, just hop on the lip. I'll just punch it down here. And see if you can walk on the front. Ugh. Yeah, those go up way too high. All right, I'll just set it down so you can actually get onto the uh, the elevator. Hey, Aku. You're trying to do a uh, a quick rescue of a Star Runner that is a little a uh, little too high up. Hey, DBZ. Oh, good. Good to hear. Oh, Raven, you died. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, man. Oh, negative, Eku. This is, uh, Woodruff on, uh, Ida. A very, very legal and legit location. Oh, what power? No! I love this skin. Well, I think I love it because no one else really seems to like it. Landing complete. I'll just scoot up a little there. There we go. Power down for now. Offline. Also, Deadeye, good to see you. Same to you, Miguel. Hey, Chris. Oh, God, yeah. If I had a, a medical bay, like, that would be it. That'd be the complete all-in-one package. Oh, Parker, I hope not. 
Caterpillar's already gone up in price considerably since, uh, you know, it was first launched. Alright, it has been eight minutes. Let's see if we can actually buy that cargo yet. Hey, Mitch. Good evening. All right, can we buy cargo? Yes, we can. Hey, I will take it. Yeah, Miguel. Appreciate it, man. Hey, have a good day. Everything goes uh, goes good for you. Yeah, power, like, the, the the Nomad is just such a decent little ship. Now, let's see if we can get it safely to port. Graf, I was already going to go to Levski. Is that a Grim? Just because I enjoy going to uh, to Grim. Ah, uh, mediocre. That's a that's a good question. Okay, if it's daytime, then that means I should be able to plot straight to. Ugh. Yeah. I'm going to have to wait till I can get an orbital. Launch complete. Not daytime enough. Uh, Tripper, we just bought from uh, Woodruff on Eda. And now we're going to sail across the system. And sell it to Levski. I'm going to assume that's Raven. So uh, I'm currently doing my uh, quantum and cannot target, which is so dumb that you cannot target while uh, while charging up. So you really need to be able to check who is uh, who is on your six. Raven, let me uh, let me know if it was you. Actually, if you don't mind, if, uh, if you get a free moment. Quantum drive is now. Oh, Gruff, no, like, I'd just be taking it to Grimm straight on. I am not dealing with, uh, ATC. Oh, uh, sorry, Moon, the, uh... The, uh, uh, what do you call them? Um... Sorry, the price was seven. It was, like, base price. Uh, yeah, Dean, like, okay, so you try stream, like, Monday through Friday anyway. Um... I streamed uh, the last two weekends just because of the IAE, but yeah, like, usually I try to stream pretty, pretty regularly. Oh, and Eku, you got the base. Nice, yeah, see, but, like, the, the thing about the base, like, you know, you slide between Star Citizen and the base. The base is actually out. You can actually play with the base right now. Oh, oh, oh Raven. Oh, you're not, you're not having a good day, Raven. So sorry. Oh, and uh, we didn't really get the quantum effects. It looks like we were just out here in the black with our uh, with our oh-so-fancy caterpillar. You know, my uh, best friend slash roommate plays bass. He always says he's terrible at it, but I've, I've heard him play it. He's uh, pretty good. Like, if I can recognize the song, then, you know, he's, I'd, I'd say he's pretty good. Hey! Oh, oh god, hold on. My, my Russian is terrible. Is that... Brad... 
bread in? Hmm. Hmm. I think the first part is bread. I'm gonna go with bread until I'm told otherwise. Sorry, my, my Russian alphabet is, uh, terrible. Reketov? Re... Oh, making me reach back now. It's been forever. Hey, Andrew. Uh, we actually just picked up some, some cheap astatine. Uh, yes, stripper. Yeah, bought it on Woodruff. Now, that astatine might soar in price. But, um... Until it does... We'll keep, uh... Keep abusing it. Uh, Raven, I think it's a little bit faster, just because you don't have to, uh, to fly through, like, the whole, like, super thick atmosphere, then, you know, take the train all the way to the CBD, sell it, take the train back. <clears throat> well, I mean, DBZ, I could have gotten entirely wrong, too. I, I don't even know if I'm getting the letters right. Like I said, it's been a very long time. I need to I need to brush back up on it. Quantum drive is now on. Whoa! So we slide to that massive rock. Gonna slide into Levski here. Landing gear down. I think Eslin is currently disabled this patch, right? Ooh, uh Ah, uh, yeah, my, my Russian is not good. I can basically say I speak a little Russian and um, maybe ask where the toilet is, which is probably the most important phrase to have in, uh, in any language. Please proceed to sign landing bank. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you, Gerald. You know, if you happen to have that C2, you get the caterpillar as a, uh, as a loner for now. Or, you know, Earn it in game. That's always a uh, a fun a fun quest to put yourself on. <clears throat> uh, Bandit. Right now, um, <clears throat> everything is free uh, to rent. If you go down to the second floor, uh, you can actually rent just about everything. Go in little kiosks. All right. Let's see if we can do this. And we're in, slotting the battery. Hey, it's DBZ! Have a pleasant stay. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 I think I may have got that right. Maybe? <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Uh, believe me, I have wrecked enough times trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah, what? I heard about that. Um, like, they had some damage, so I just, they're basically having to scrap the entire thing.
Uh, Evans, my acetine was seven. Exactly. So, uh, should be able to sell for a decent price. Oh, really, Violet? Thank you. Like, I, it's, it's been a long time. I need to brush up on it. And, uh, the Russian I knew back in the day wasn't even really all that, uh, all that great, so. Actually, I used to have this little phrase book made by, uh, Lonely Planet. And they did an amazing job with that book. I need to buy it again. Ah, uh, this bug again. Alright, so. How, how did we get around this last time? Yeah, this, this needs to get fixed. There we go. Much better. We own that. All right. And we are in Hangar 4, I believe. Oh, dead. Sorry, man. Let me let me brush up on my rush and I can get back to you. Um until then though, have a have a good one, man. Well we will try try to get better. Uh negative tripper, it's about a uh, hundred thousand. Uh, like a hundred thirteen thousand, I think, to be to be precise. Was the uh, was a profit. Also, Laramie, good to see you. Sorry, didn't mean to, to miss you there. All right, how much fuel do we have left? Sixty-six. That is that is enough. Your systems are online. You are clear to launch. Come on, come on, come on. Good enough. See if we can repeat that. See, uh, let's see how much more acetine we can buy. All right, so we're going back to Hurston. Thank you. Basically, pulling a, a 180 for Ida. Uh, Melodox, I don't know. Like that price. Okay, so acetine has actually been really high for the last few weeks like incredibly high um so i think there's still something funky with trade because like the iae is still going everyone can rent a caterpillar those prices should be through the roof ah oh, maladox i'm sorry yeah, i figure like even with the whole like bug thing going on astatine is still going to be incredibly uh difficult or Sorry, not that Larry and I is going to be incredibly difficult to get a hold of. Just because since it is happening, everyone's going to be buying it. Which does make it incredibly difficult to, uh, you know, get in any sort of meaningful quantity. Oh, Keely, you'd be surprised. Like, uh, actually, a lot of people have been trading because, you know, they don't have a caterpillar, so they're actually able to, uh, to use it for the first time due to the, uh, due to the event. Like, oh god, like, Drake Day? Drake Day was ridiculous for trade. Like, titanium was up to, like, 775 in, in a lot of, like, high traffic locations. Hey, Phantasmid. Good afternoon. Yeah, Parker, we'll be here, bud. 
Uh, Tio, I think it's going to be a good ship until John Crew gets a hold of it. He likes to, uh, bake in those, uh, you know, faults. Hey, Matthew. How you doing, man? Like, I, I want the Corsair to be a good ship. I mean, obviously, because, you know, it's, it's Drake. I just... I need to actually, you know, finish production as a good ship. Because right now it looks like Jean Cruz trying to make it a, a constellation that falls apart, and you know maybe that's just my my bias. But like the way he described the Corsair last time during the uh, the Q and A, it um, makes me wonder like why do they try to bake all these faults into to Drake ships? Oh, yeah, mediocre. You you and me both. Really, Deadeye? Yeah, it sounds like it's something a bit bigger than a, uh, than a Cutlass Red, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, Lonix. So, okay, the thing is, it's a Drake Explorer, but it has... It has a lot of guns. So many guns that they don't want the turrets to be able to face forward so they can't add their uh, their firepower to the rest of the guns. Quantum drive is now off. Come on. Ah, uh, he went just the old uh, the missile line. Quantum drive is now on. All right, eat up round two. Hey, look who it is. Landing gear down. Jeez, I don't know what you're talking about, man. This is the best skin of all time. Graph, you could be curious. I'm just picking it up at Woodruff. Drive is now off. I mean, we can find out later, but uh, at the moment, I want to get a couple of bucks in. Uh, Nicola, if you're surface mining, there should be plenty. Um, as far as like prospector mining, that one is out of my uh, out of my depth. I haven't really gone prospector mining. Around, uh, around Microtech. Oh, you know, mediocre. I kind of, I kind of like it. Um, sorry, I'm just seeing what all we've got uh, on the scopes here. This guy's a little full around here today. Oof. Oh, Raven, you are not having good luck today, bud. Oh, Raven, I'm so sorry. All right, let me get on the ground, then I can catch up with chat here. Wind. 
I think it's actually pushing us off course. That's neat. Although one of the reasons I don't like coming to uh, to Ida. Hey, Nero. Good afternoon. Hey, Omega. All right. Sorry, catching back up on chat. Uh, you know, Matthew, that's that's actually what I'm kind of wondering about. Um, as far as like the refinery-based refining, like you know, not with the ship. It uh, looks like you're basically just dropping stuff off and uh, and waiting. So it uh, looks like it'll be something you can use to make you know a little bit of extra passive income while you're still out uh, out and about doing things. Oh yeah, Zell, have a go, man. Good luck. Hope work goes uh, goes pretty uneventfully. Oh, thank you, Keely. You have to go a bit slow when it's uh, a bit darker. Come on, there we go. Acetine, still at base price. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna farm this for just a little bit. Oh, Thomas, you got an MSR. Nice. <clears throat> you know, I uh, I'm gonna be honest. Like when the Star Runner was first announced, like you know, everyone was so excited for it. I was I was doing the hipster thing. It's like, eh, like, you know, it's just gonna be this so-so ship. I'm not that interested. Like, it's overblown. And then I got into it, and I uh, instantly changed my opinion. It's like, holy shit, now I see why everyone likes this thing. Like, this is, this is great. Ah, oh, nice one! Yeah, like the the Star Runners sold me, because like I was just kind of you know eh about the whole concept. Oh yeah, Omega, we're just basically going back and forth. <clears throat> yeah, mediocre. That that's it. Like I'm not even worried about data running. Like I I don't even care about data running. It's just a fun ship. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Your system is right. It's gonna give us a quick little boost here. going to have to plot while we fly, which is not something I like to do. Oh, yeah, do you think so? What is that? I've got something off the edge. Might still be that NPC. Landing. Hey, Split, welcome back. I say, Nero, I can't help you with the computer thing, but it's still free fly for a little bit. Ooh, Andrew M. What are some good trade routes? Uh, that's actually going to depend on what you're shipping in. <clears throat> what, uh, what ship are you using? Ah, that's right, Power. I just, I keep forgetting. I just, I really don't like having anything on, uh, on radar. Yeah, Parker, okay, so to, to go back to that, as far as, like, you know, seeing the stairs in the Star Runner, I actually prefer the elevator. Like, it takes up less space, like, you can still vault yourself up, you know, using the, uh, the ladder. And, uh, it's wheelchair accessible, so, you know. I think it- I think it fits with the aesthetic way more.
Uh, Andrew, good trade routes. Yeah, alright, so, just to circle back to that, I'm gonna say... Anything smaller than a caterpillar or carrick. Try buying astatine from ArcCorp 061 on Walla. Should be fairly cheap. Um, or Woodruff. Could be Woodruff as well on Ida. And take back to any major port city. Um, fluorine is always a good run in a, in a bulk color such as this. And that would basically be like ArcCorp 157 to Deacons on Yela. Could also take it to Grim if you're feeling spicy. Uh, titanium is always good, as long as you can pick it up cheap. Um, usually Humboldt Mines for that, or SAL2, both on Lyria. Oh yeah! Also, Wilbur, good to see you. I like, uh, I like Moon's idea, you know, just, uh, keep the Star Runner, buy the Max in game. <clears throat> oh god, yeah, Andrew, if you've got a Carrick, uh, basically, basically any run that a caterpillar can do. So, uh, for example, we are currently buying Astatine on Ida, going to Woodruff, uh, and then selling at Levski. And uh, you should probably make around, I think, eighty thousand a run with uh, with that with the Carrick. If I've done my math right. Yeah, one day this thing will be a C2, and I will be sad. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. No! It happened. Damn. Right as we're about to come out of Quantum 2. Well, F. F, F, F. Oh, it's too late. Well, now we have to go make the money to, uh, to pay for that. Ah, uh, yeah, DBZ, you and me both. Ow. That's 400,000 down the drain. You know, like, I'm not worried about pirates, because pirates actually give you a chance to uh, pay a small fee for your cargo. It's, it's things like this that ruin me. Uh, Jimothy, I don't know. I might, I might pick up a hole just, uh, just to try it out. Exactly, Chris. Like, that's why mining is, is so good. Ah, oh, no, Parker. It's fine. I can build it back up. Makes it fun. Gives me something to do. Although I was hoping it would do the thing when we wake up in the ship, but, um... Let's see... Ouch, yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, narrow. That is true. Damn. You know, they've, they've had a solution to this way back in 3.4 PTU, but uh, they refused to implement it back because, like, oh, it's liable to be exploited. That's right, Skill Hollow. I just, I just gotta. Well, not on this one. Let's just check. Uh, Gruff, we, uh, we were marauded by the Notorious. Eh, you know what, just worth checking. Uh, the Notorious heir that must not be named. 
Nah, Moon, I've still got 300k on me. Which will be enough to get started once again on fluorine runs. And I still have drugs to sell at, uh, at Grim Hex, so... You know, not a lot, but it's, it's something. Just like, the, the thing that really shits me is, like, CIG's uncompromising fascination with having to wake up in a bed. Oh, is that you, Omega? Oh, you are welcome to come with. Like, literally every other MMO allows you to log in, log out, wherever. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to, you know, go to a specific spot. But in Star Citizen, it's like, oh, you, you have to go back to a bed. You just, you have to. Yeah, Omega, if you want to come with, it's, uh, it's Hangar 2. Yeah, uh, Hangar 02. Uh, yeah, DBZ, do you know how to get to, uh, get to Crusader? Hey, Russell. Welcome back, man. Yeah, Matthew, you're probably right. Like, I just, I, I don't know why literally every other MMO can, uh, you know, figure out the whole, like, waking up wherever you happen to, uh, to log off. Uh, Graph, I think it is. I, I don't know. I've never, uh, I've never really used their music. Uh, you know, Chris, I've got a, a Cutlass Red. I like it a lot. It's been a, uh, a fairly good ship to me. It's actually the ship that got me into the game. You are clear to launch. Alright, we're gonna do some super fast farm runs with Fluorine. So it's about to get really boring as we do the exact same run over and over again. Not to be confused with the other run that we were doing over and over again. Oh, uh, Maladox, so back in 3.4 PTU, they had a, uh, a feature called Relocate. It was on the ASOP terminal, so if you, uh, if you had an error code that must not be named, you could hit the Relocate button, and it would relocate your ship, cargo and all, to, uh, to whatever port you were at. Now, it was great. The only downside was, from, well, from CIG's perspective, was that, uh, it was instant. And it was free. So, someone could buy cargo at a place, suicide, um, relocate their ship, and have it instantly transported back to the, uh, back to the hangar. Without any sort of, you know, pirates or anything else getting in the way. So, instead of, you know, putting a timer on it, or a, or a price, you know, something to make it, you know, viable, they just said, eh, we're gonna get rid of it so it can't be exploited. Yeah, like, instead of, like, you know, just putting a timer on it, like, you know, claiming a ship, they just they made it instantaneous and then couldn't figure out how to stop it from being exploited. Yeah, Matthew, that was it, too. Like, you could, you could do that. But no, no, they, they decided not to. So they've had a solution since 3.4, they just haven't done anything with it. Yeah, Matthew, like, you could you could track stuff instead of just having that button be, you know, absolutely useless.
Yeah, power. Like, you know, tons of people do that. They better keep this skin. This is a, this is a good skin. Just double check the list. See if there's anyone we uh, we recognize. Always good to uh, to check in. Let's see, I see Raven. We've got Omega. I don't really recognize <clears throat> anyone else. Oh, power! What? No, no. The the best in show skin is beautiful. How how dare you? I I love that best in show skin. It's got that uh, that hater vision. Maladox. Yeah, I saw I saw a blank name earlier. Of course, you know, I never actually got to uh, to see them. But uh, yeah, I was wondering what was up with that. Hey, Evans. Yeah, uh, this is the uh, the pirate skin. Uh, only way to get that is to beat Pirate Swarm in Arena Commander. Then you have the uh, option to be able to buy the pirate cat. Literally no difference except for the skins. Quantum drive is now off. Oh yeah, Wilbur. Oh man, flying that thing is tough. Mm, let's not do Benson today. Let's go. Corp, where are you? There you are. Oh yeah, Coyote. I love those little tick marks. So it's gonna be closer. It's to show all the uh, the successful trade runs you've done. Hey Jesse, so the the drug runs are still kind of eh. Like we run a nomad full of uh, like 20 SCU of Widow to Grim Hex, and uh, we were not able to unload all in one go. It's uh, very slow going. Uh, you know Wilbur, you can actually land the Reclaimer at, uh, at Grim Hex. Uh, Eli, no point, no point whatsoever. Being an MMO, it's pretty much whatever you want to invest into it. So one day, you realize that you have spent most of your life doing it. And, uh, you know. So maybe it's time to, uh, to move on to other things. But if you enjoy flying spaceships that are, you know, pretty. And, uh, you know, walking around your ships and things like that. It's, uh, it's fun. Perpetually in early access. But there is a free fly going today and tomorrow. So, um... Yeah. You can always give it a go, decide if you like it, or see if there's no point at all. Landing gear down. I enjoy it, but uh, I feel like I'm also a bit of a masochist when it comes to games. Landing complete. Weapons offline. 
Oh yeah, Apple, you can definitely spawn at Grimax. We got a DBZ. We'll be uh, hanging around Yela. Oh yeah, Tio. I think the SEM speeds are still still the same. Whoops. I'm about to jump. Ah. Uh, of course, Eli, like I said, being early access get a few bugs, which is this one right here. Which means we might be waiting upwards of uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to be able to access cargo. It's fine, Gruff. We will, uh, we will wait. We will wait. And while we wait, where is it? Oh god, yeah, Maladox, don't don't remind me. I remember when I told myself I'm just gonna get the 325A. That's all I'm gonna spend. Oh what a fool I was. Go do some cross country while we while we wait. Oh yeah, like what Jeremy said. Like I am pretty much here for the uh, for the entertainment since I uh, do enjoy Star Citizen. Uh, Gruff, I don't know. I haven't, uh, I haven't tried. I how this thing actually goes faster than the, uh, like the Nox. Oh. Yeah, no worries, DBZ. Uh, we're currently around Yela. You might want to park at either Port Olisar or Grim Hex first. I don't know if we're actually in the same server together. Gruff, I think it's only 45 right now. Oh, no. Come on, settle back down. Settle back down. There we go. Uh, Tunes, that is, that is correct. Hey, Jason. Afternoon. We're just getting in some, uh, some ground time because the, uh, outpost is messed up again. Oh. You know, Omega, that's not a bad idea. Whoops. 
Come on, come back down. I wonder, is that gonna actually make it? Yes, there we go, all right. Need, like windshield wipers. The question is, can I actually fit under the uh I cannot. And now I'm stuck. Oof, yeah. You're uh we are pretty much stuck. Hey, Seek! Yeah, that's not- that's not going anywhere. Ah! It is! I lied! Alright. See if we can buy cargo now. No, Sam, I'd like to see that. Definitely need that, uh, that vehicle module. Oh, yeah, Scott. I, oh, God, I wish I could. I, I hate those super fancy tires they have on the tumble. Like, just give it regular wheels. There we go. Ugh. 790. Well, that's back to being normal. All right, 157 we go. I'm sorry, not 157, to Deacons. Deacons we go. Yeah, Sam, I understand that. Um, I was like tired of being wait or waiting on the modules. Um, I, I want the modules and they keep promising these modules and yet they, they never seem to happen, you know? Yeah, but like they have got to fix this. This is like what three patches now that we've that we've had this. More even. Ridge, that means we need. Where is it? That is way too far up to be what I need. That is Benson, so that's Deacons. Hey, Steve, afternoon. Big brother of the Carrick. I mean, Carrick would even have a big brother, would it? What do you mean, Omega? Not a madman? Also, Kai, good afternoon. Good to see you. If you're going with the, uh, with the Endeavor, I think the, uh, Carrick is supposed to be the more dedicated explorer. No! Oh, no, Omega, that's fine. Do it all the time. Besides, let's me uh let's me line up quicker. Uh, 
All right, bring it on down, nice and easy. And we're down. Offline. Uh, yeah, Tio, that sounds about right, because you've got the, uh, the extended fuel tanks, the, uh, overclocking module, deep range scanner, farm pods, uh, hangar module, medical bays. And some of those take up multiple slots, so you might actually need, uh, yeah, four, four endeavors, that sounds about right. Oh yeah, Francesco, I, god, I want to see that ship, the Starliner. Really, guy? Uh, one, I'm currently on the Australian servers. Are you kidding me? Are we gonna do this here too? <clears throat> great! Great! Great, great, great. You know what? To Grim Hex we go. We can sell at Grim Hex. Yeah, I'll make it. Might be worthwhile. Ah, uh, so annoying. All right, we're gonna take what we've got, sell it at Grim, then we'll come back to Deacons on the uh, on the second run. Uh, Francesco, when the uh, when the terminals work. This flooring run that I'm currently doing is actually incredibly good. Problem is, when the terminals work... Uh, yeah, Matthew, trading has gone downhill. Like, they haven't touched it since uh, 3.6. Actually, they've nerfed it since 3.6. Because, uh, used to, the tick refreshes were about every, every two minutes. Now they're 10. Uh, yeah, DBZ, that sounds about right. Um, Port Alasar is a major port. It's very easy to get in and out of, so a lot of people base around there. You know, Steve, we, uh, we had a full load of Astatine. Until the, uh, heir that must not be named claimed us all. Raven! Oh, I'm so sorry. Obstructed? Look at that, better not be obstructed. Landing gear up. Quantum drive is now on. Yeah, Matthew, I think they've pushed it to 15 minutes. Which, like, they keep making mining ultra good while nerfing the crap out of trading. Like why? Why why do you guys hate you know my, my trade economy? Why do you keep nerfing it? Quantum drive is now off. And the thing that really shits me is like when you when you complain about it, like when you actually make forum posts, people are like, oh it's not supposed to be balanced, it's an alpha. Like, 
there's no point in complaining because we're not going to do anything about it until until Quanta comes online. It's like, dude, that's going to be at the minimum a year. That's not happening for a very long time. Like, you could adjust this in about 45 seconds. It's literally a spreadsheet. It's like, just let nice things happen. What? No, no, Russell, mining is probably the best thing you can do, especially when you look at the, uh, the investment risk. <clears throat> Ooh, DBZ! First, uh, first PC game, huh? In seven years, my god. Exactly, Bradley. Like, you know, trading... Trading is so risky. And, like, right now, even if everything goes, you know, perfectly, you're still only getting, like, a 20% profit margin on, uh, on average. Like, combined with everything else that uh, that happens in the game, that's not really worthwhile. Like, you know, you can barely afford to, uh, to pay crew. Uh, so I'm gonna loop around on that one. All right. Landing complete. Another happy landing. Wait, Russell, 10k per run? No, man, you should be making like 70, 80,000. That's what I average, and I'm I'm terrible in a prospector. Uh, you know, Kai, that's mm, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, DBZ, go for it, man. Be around. And Omega, I'll be right back down. I'm just unloading everything. I, ooh, I really hope they improve cargo in 3.12. I was so upset when they, uh, when they ignored it in 3.11. Yeah, mediocre, that's what I, that's what I really want to see. Especially trading to, uh, to Pyro, you know? Ah, no worries, Omega, I'll be back down in just a moment. I'm just unloading some, some cargo. Oh, Russell, where, where are you mining, man? Like, you should be able to make a lot more than that with, uh, with a helix. Uh, well, Mag, I didn't really mean to get into it, but uh, I really do enjoy trading, which is probably going to be my uh, my main loop. Um, oh, yeah, can we... We cannot. Looks like people are still emptying drugs here. That is painful. Ah, uh, worth a shot. Yeah, well, Russell, try try Yela. Get some, uh, you know, a Grecium under your belt. Oh, Omega, it's fine. Well, I mean, we could unload them at, like, Corinth or, uh, other locations.
Like, there's a few different places to take drugs. They just take forever to get to. Uh, yeah, Terex, it's working. I've been there uh, a couple of times, and it's actually done just fine. You are clear to launch. Uh, Mag, the general payout is about 33,000. Uh, the thing is, though, when Deacons works, you can do it about every six minutes. Or, uh, I'd say probably eight in a Caterpillar. Uh, with Grim Hex, probably about every 12 minutes. But even then, that's like, you know, five runs an hour. So 33,000, five runs an hour, that's uh, that's a fair amount, especially for the very low uh, buy-in. And uh, minimum risk window, too, because you're only in the air for about, you know, three, four minutes. Yeah, you know, Simon, I've actually, I have whinged about that before on the, uh, on the forums. And, um, it's just so odd that they ignore it. And the thing that I hate is that trade is the one that gets the least amount of explanation. Like, uh, when mining came online, they showed everyone how to do that. Um, like, they put so much focus on other things. And then trading, it's just like, yeah, man, go figure it out. Buy a box. Like... CIG does absolutely nothing to teach anyone on uh, on trade. <laughs> Boo. License revoked, Omega. Why? What is wrong with my piloting? Yeah, that's true, Simon. Like, trade doesn't look particularly interesting because all you're doing is just flying from point A to point B. Usually as fast as, uh, as fast as possible. Children and Grim? Eh. That's right, Matthew. I mean, we've already lost 400,000 today. Like, if we do nothing but trading, until the end of the uh, the stream, we might break even. All right, we're gonna try round two with Deacons. It's uh, it's a little bit faster than uh, going to Grim Hex. Yeah, Coyote, I think you're right. Like, I think they've got one guy working on, like, actual trade prices. Hey, Nico! Man, I'm not even worried about pirates. I will parlay with a pirate. All sorts of diplomacy. I look forward to it because a pirate will actually let me walk away with my cargo. It's, uh, it's the errors that always uh, seem to get me. Hey, Lone Wolf! You know, mediocre. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pass on that loan. Five hundred percent interest. Like, what do I look like? I'm on that E1 private pay, about to get married and buy a Mustang with that five thousand interest rate or five thousand percent interest rate. Ugh. Yeah, still bad. But yeah, Raven. Well, I mean, he wasn't really a pirate. He was just being dumb. Ooh, 
Ooh, coyote. I'd like to see that. Alright, Omega, you coming with? Did, did he just fall over? Oh, no. He's got the pretzel of death. Alright, Omega, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to commit suicide. There's nothing you can do about that. Yep. He's pretzeling. Shut the backspace. I'll pick you up at Grim on the, uh, on the next run. Oh yeah, Nico, those missions pay well. Those pay super well. Uh, yeah, so, Francesco, back in the day, like, you know, several months ago, um, the Australian servers were actually better for trading when they were all region-specific. Um, that's not really a thing anymore, but... <clears throat> I got to, uh, know a lot of the people on the Australian servers, because, you know, it's a, it's a smaller server, more, uh, more focused. And, uh, I just really kind of kept hanging around. <clears throat> Cause like, you know, they're mostly nice, uh, pretty, pretty regular, so like, you kind of see a lot of the same people. Less of that Call of Duty attitude you tend to get on the American servers. A Super Hornet? Uh, looks like he is racing into Grim Hex, so uh, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. A mole. Oh, that's a brave mole mining around Grim Hex. Yeah, Sam, I, could, I would also argue that. Like, Australia does feel very stable. Well, to me, anyway. Well, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, negative mediocre. There is not. Uh, if you want to do any sort of refining, you, uh, you gotta travel all the way down to Lorville, Levski, or, uh, pretty much anywhere else. Looks like he's hanging around. He's also upside down. I if he's looking for a target or just looking to land. He's going in upside down. All right, another happy landing. You know, Simon, a lot of people connect to the Australian servers. Now, the, uh, the latency might not be that great. Like, I actually know uh, a few Europeans who connect to the Australian servers. They say the desync can get fairly bad, but uh, if you're just doing what we're doing, like trading and stuff, it doesn't, uh, doesn't always seem to matter all that much. Uh, Omega, if you give me one second, I can probably rescue you. Um, if you're still on the level where all the, uh, all the beds were, then, um, I'm actually about to head that way. Oh, Sam, eventually. We'll, we'll do some more, uh, reverse landings. Thank you, Simon. We, uh, we put this caterpillar through its paces. We have made this thing cry. I need to actually go back to practicing the reverse landings. It's, uh, it's been a little bit. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that next time. Something tells me we'll be here again in about 15 minutes. Oh, Matthew, you and me both. 
I, I need more stuff in Grimhex. I love Grimhex. Uh, love? I don't know. He hasn't, uh, he hasn't said anything. Maybe he had, uh, had to go. Tell you what, next time we run to Grim, we'll do, uh, we'll see if we can pull off a reverse landing again. Alright, so Omega, you're probably... Somewhere. Down here. One second, I'll send you a party invite, so maybe you can see where I am. Unless that's you. That's you, alright. Well, I'll invite you to party anyway. Add friend request, why not? Oh yeah, Omega. They have great armor here. Wow, still, still can't unload. Oh no, who's calling? Ah, well, whatever. Let's see who it is. And they hung up. Let's see. Anyone I need to look out for. There's a bug right now where if you call someone, you can actually get a, uh, a marker for them. So we're just going to check who we have in the list. Did I? Hmm, no names that I recognize that I need to look out for. Oh, sorry, Omega. Um, I stepped into the elevator. Are you still down below? Damn it. Hey, man. Well, welcome back, man. Sorry, I was uh, checking the list. Hate when people try to call you. Like, we should actually tell you who's calling. Like, this is the year, like, what, 2950? We should, we should have this technology. Oh, Nico, you got the uh, the Vanguard. Nice. Like, I, I, I want a Vanguard. I just don't know which one I want. I'm rapidly running out of... Uh, out of time to pick one up. <laughs> Boss. Ah, oh, Lord, we found him. He's, he's with us now. You think, Tojimothy? Why, uh, why is that? Because, like... I can I can pick up a uh, a Perseus for about four hundred twenty five dollars in store credit, which I'm considering. And that would give me the Harbinger as a loner. I just I don't even know if I want the Perseus in the first place, you know. Oh yeah, it is supposed to have better armor, isn't it? Oh, Simon, the Buccaneer is super fun. Um, surprisingly durable uh, when put up against a rock. But yeah, I I love flying the Buccaneer. We might we might do that here in a little bit. Uh, Matthew, armor is in technically, but it's pretty much the same across most stuff. So you're not really going to see a uh, a point to it. Uh, Coyote both. Skinned and unskinned. Like, we will blow the, uh, the plating off of it. Ah, damn it. I forgot to call for the, uh, hangar doors. What do we have? Super Hornet hanging around. Cutlass Black. 
Yeah, we'll be fine. Hanging around at a suspicious distance. Oh yeah, Omega it has to be the uh, the owner or whoever flew it in last. You wanna you wanna give it a go? You wanna fly the caterpillar? Try it out. I don't think that Super Hornet cares about me much. I tried, Russell. It means less weight, so it's uh, it's more responsive. Yeah, Simon, tell you what, let me uh, let me do one more run, and then I will break out the Buccaneer and you can check it out. Yeah, Mitch, see the problem is when you when you fly into the area, it puts it at the bottom. And I've I've just got a lot of um, a lot of people on my friends list, so it makes it a little difficult to uh, to call them sometimes. Drive is so it's just off. usually easier for me to uh, to call via Moby Glass because it's in the same spot all the time. Uh, Lone Wolf talking about the the Buccaneer. The, uh, the fighting tin can of Star Citizen. Ah, gotcha, Omega. Yeah, see, I always, uh, I always kind of get stuck being the pilot. Very rarely do I get to do anything else besides piloting, which... Like, I, I know that I've got some skill at... But, you know, sometimes you want to do other things, like uh, Pulsar Lost Colony. I love that game. I love being engineer in it. I can make an engine sing. But I always get stuck doing the piloting because you know, that's, that's what I do. Um, there we go. Hey, geez, nice. Good job with the rock. Yeah, the, the rock is ultra profitable. I mean, yeah, maybe, Sai, but I just, you know, I like to, uh, I like to do other things. So I've got hopes, dreams, I like to be buried inside an engine. You know, the turrets are, are super fun. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm more than a, than a stick jockey. I can't help that, uh... But I happen to get good with, uh, you know, flying bricks. Oh yeah, Lonix, I'll take you up on that. So like whenever, whenever Crumpet and I play together, I always like to uh, weasel into taking the turret just because, you know, one, the turrets are super fun. I love being in a turret. Ah yeah, cheese. That would that would do it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta save the boulders for the prospectors, the rocks for the rocks. That's right, Lone Wolf. Another happy landing. All right, let's go take this to Grim. Then we're gonna go grab the Buccaneer. And we'll see if we can do that reverse landing, too. Oh, Deadeye, yes. 
I love the hurricane. They're super cheap too. I think I'm just gonna go uh, buy one in game. I think I might might save up for that. Uh, Simon, I don't know if uh, if you'd be interested, but uh, there's a game on Steam called Pulsar Lost Colony. It's a five-person co-op game, and uh, everyone takes a role on a spaceship. Like you've got your your commander, uh, your pilot, your science officer, weapons engineer, and you basically all work together to uh, to do missions, keep the ship running, do combat, go down to planets, explore. Super fun. The graphics are a bit, you know, in 64-ish, but the mechanics are amazing. Like, the multi-crew gameplay in that is what I dream Star Citizen will be one day. Uh, Al, I'd say the Buccaneer is probably my favorite fighter. It's not the best fighter. But it's my favorite fighter. Oh, mediocre. That's a good question. Probably way too expensive. I'm gonna bet just ballparking like 3.5 to 4 million. Exactly, Lone Wolf. It's it's basically Star Trek without the Star Trek. Landing gear down. Oh, they give us a low one. Someone else must be in our hangar. Weird. Oh, right, hold on. We were going to do this reverse, weren't we? Whoops. Eh, close enough. Landing complete. No, it's not. Launch. Ah, oh, we flubbed. Where did I mess up? Well, if you fail, try, try again. I think I came at it too low of an angle, so I ended up landing on the rocks below. That, uh, that flubbed the whole setup. See, I can do it with hangar 8. This hangar down here, uh, I've never tried it in this hangar. So I've got that rock lip to contend with. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, yeah, Jimothy. I haven't actually done my reverse landings in a while. Let's see, right there looks good. Yeah, I think those rock lips are what's messing me up. Yep. I'm not gonna be able to do it with that lip there. That's obstructing my, uh, my entry. That's a shame. You know what? No, we're gonna, we're gonna pull this off. I don't care how many times it takes. We are pulling this off. If I have to come in at an actual angle to do this, I will do it, damn it. All right. That is probably... I guess the lights help a little bit. Try there. Come in high. About there. Nose up a bit, and that should, uh, should get us clearance. Hey, Matthew. All right, one more try. Yeah, I'm hitting rocks. Rocks are in the way. So we have to use hangar eight to do the reverse. I don't think we can do the reverse into uh, into this because uh, those rocks are actually obstructing clearance. That is sad. That makes me super disappointed. Oh, wow, yeah, look. Look at that. Landing complete. Is there gravity Landing here? Complete. Hold on. Landing gear up. Yeah, there is gravity on those rocks. That is, okay. That's neat. Landing gear down. A little sad, but that's neat. Yeah, look at that. Look at all those rocks halfway in the way of the hangar. 
No wonder we can't get in. <laughs> Simon. I mean, I could, I could try. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm catching back up. Uh, Mag, I do use mouse and keyboard. I have a HOTAS set up. Oh, I say that. I've got a stick. I just never use it. Yeah, all those rocks in the way are, uh, are what's messing me up. If that was Hangar 8, we could have done it easy. One second. I'm just, I'm gonna open that again so I can see what the rocks look like from, uh, from the inside, like just down here. You are clear to launch. Yeah. That is a serious amount of rock impeding the hangar. No wonder we were having problems getting in backwards. Ugh, yeah, those those rocks anger me. Like, look, that is that is a ridiculous amount of rock. I mean, like, it's it's grim hex. I don't expect you know a lot of concessions when it comes to landing, and you know, landing reverse isn't something I should probably be doing inside a hangar anyway. It's just sad to see. Oh yeah, Moon. I'm gonna keep blaming the rocks. Of my poor piloting skill. Uh, Simon, you can always go eat a double dog. Oh, arcade, you can fly a cat easily. Just, you know, don't do the dumb stuff that I do. While we're going down, let me check my, uh, fucking ear. What do I currently have on the bug? Uh, Panthers and Bulldogs. I might actually change that back to its Gatling setup. Oh, okay, that's, that's fair. I mean, you know, MSR is great. <laughs> can I wow still cannot unload who is unloading widow uh negative loan I I have not I've heard good things about it I just never got around to it because I, uh, I fell in love with pulsar Ah, Juan, you made it to Grim. One second, let me see if we're on the same server. Let's see, I see Omega. Uh, let's see, yeah, there we are, non critical. Uh, yeah, Arcade, yeah, um, Bridge Commander is VR. Uh, I think Pulsar also has, uh, VR as well, but again, it's kind of in 64-ish, so I don't really know if it matters. Ooh, Raven! Yeah, do that! Hey, Omega, why don't, why don't you go with him? Star Runner against the Buccaneer. So anyway, I'm gonna put my weapons back on the uh, stock loadout for the uh, for the buck. Is it bulldogs? Ah, sorry. Gotcha, little. Gotcha. Uh, Omega, how would you like to be a turret gunner for uh, for Raven's Star Runner? 
Uh, Juan, do you want to get on that? It's fully crude star runner against a buccaneer. Ooh, Tio, a barrel bet. All right, yeah, we can do that. We've got a few minutes. That gives me time to uh, to grab a double dog. Uh, lower level. All right, all right, Tio, tell you what. I'll take the bet. If I win, Raven has to do a barrel run in his Star Runner. If he wins, I will do a barrel run in the Caterpillar into Grim Hex. Oh yeah, Mark. It'll be super tough. But we're gonna give it the college try. Now, Raven, let me let me ask. What are the uh, what are the rules? Like, can I kit the Buccaneer any way I want to? Should I just keep the stock weapons? What? Here, I will send you guys a party invite. That way, if we do happen to get into, uh, what do you call it? Uh, calm space. We don't, you know, get crime stats for any of this. Stop doing this. Any weapons, no missiles. All right, I like that. Any, any weapons. Well, you get to see what I'm equipping. Aw, oh, Tio, what? All right, let me see, let me see what I've got available, weapon-wise. Yeah, Mark, that's not a bad idea. I think I'm just gonna go with repeaters, though. Let's see. Uh, those should be fine the way they are. The hell? Why, why, um, why do I have 44 M6s? I don't, yeah, Omega, you've got, you've got time. Um, I don't remember buying 44 M6As. What, what the hell? Ah, but Matthew, 44 of them? Like, what, what comes with so many M6s? Yeah, Mark, that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, I barely rented anything at the Expos. Okay, got non-credit, got Lego, need Omega. Uh, one, there's gonna be a massive hangar along the top. It'll be hangar 13. Uh, if you call for ATC, it should, uh, should drop for you. You got it, Raven. Take your time. I think one is still getting landed in Omega's AFK, so you've got, uh, you got a little bit. Well, I'm already strapped and ready. Uh, Mark, I think you've got time. You've probably got about five, seven minutes. Ooh, Russell. Just really so I can see right quick. What do we got weapon-wise? Mmm, 
that is tempting. That is super tempting. I feel like using distortion right now makes things like too easy though. Hey, Crumpet! Wow, you were you were summoned. Uh, yeah, Crumpet. So, uh, my Buccaneer against a fully crewed Star Runner. I'm going to see how it uh, how it goes. Hmm. I kind of like the stock loadout. Yeah, I'll just keep the stock guns. We'll see what happens. The very worst, I get a wholesome barrel. Uh, yes, Omega. Yeah, as soon as Juan gets landed, uh, we'll probably have a, uh, a second gunner. Uh, not at the moment, Apple. I believe it is, uh, it is empty. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my buck. Uh, Nico, I am going to be flying the Buccaneer. Raven will be flying the Star Runner. So this is going to be a, uh, a super fun fight. Now I forget, who who was it that wanted to see the Buccaneer cockpit? Because uh, we're about to get into it now. <laughs> Crumpet. Oh god, I already fought. Hangar 2. Matthew, that's uh, that's a good question. Like, I'm worried for the Shrike because they keep like pendulum swinging on the effectiveness of uh, of missiles. Whoa, what? Hold on, Trumpet, How are you not a mod anymore? That's weird. It says you're a moderator, but you're not blue. Hold on, I'm going to remove it and add it back again. Yeah, it said, uh, it said you were a moderator. Alright, I took it off, put it back on. Let's see if it's, uh, let's see what it does. Alright, so. Uh, everyone who's going to be turret gunning, go to Hangar 12. Join up on, uh, on Raven's Star Runner. You are clear to launch. Yeah, Crumpet. See if you can like uh, here, Crumpet. I'm gonna I'm gonna type a message in um, in chat. See if you can delete it. That's right, Gorillazilla. All right, so Crumpet. See if you can delete this message. Yeah. See if you can delete those lies and uh, falsehoods and untruths. That's right, Simon. It is a classic setup. It was just a test. It was only a test. Landing gear up. Oh, 
I forgot the buccaneer had those super bright headlights. Come on, stay down. Oh, it doesn't want to stay down. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. That's right. All right, well, then I will just remove that. Since that is blasphemy, lies, falsehoods. Landing gear up. <laughs> Coyote. All right, I see Deadeye coming in with that caterpillar. Sorry, that's me targeting you. Ooh, 17 kilometers we picked that up. But what's he hauling? That's the that's the question. Quartz, all right, making a quartz run. All right, you got it. Oh yeah, Simon. This thing can uh, this thing can boogie. It tends to overheat though when you're using afterburner. Just like that. Hey, Keely, welcome back. Yeah, Matthew, that's what I'm thinking. Like, the, the Shrike I'm interested in, but they keep making, you know, missiles go between, like, you know, God tier and useless. All right. All right, let's get out just a little bit before uh, before we start here, just so we're not close to the armistice and get hit by a mistake. Exactly, Simon. Like it is, it is a glass cannon. It is a mosquito fighter. All right. Another day for a swell battle. Here we go. Oh, he's got the sun. Let's see if we can change that. A lot of thruster too. This might actually just end up being a hydrogen battle. That was a rock. Attention. Weapons overheating. Attention. Weapons overheating. Oh, he's running, he's getting some speed. You can catch up to that though. Ah, oh, yeah, see, this gives him time for his shields to come back.
All right, come on, beefy. Let's do it. Front shields are down. Ah, uh, there go the engines. Yeah, fortunately those uh, those poor engines just overheat so fast, but you can stay on top of them. <laughs> Eric, thanks, man. Sorry, I got I got so caught up in the uh, the fight here. Oh, uh, hold on, he is getting some distance. Just gonna scan on that, see what the damage is. Seventy-eight percent. All right, so we're whittling him. He's coming in closer. Yeah, thank you, Eric. I appreciate that, man. Hope uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. All right, here he comes. He's going for the long range on those Panthers. We'll decouple, catch up, meet him in uh, in the pass. Get a few free hits here. the engines. The thing is, I'm not even really applying afterburner either. Oh, Raven, that's a rock, buddy. Hey, you nailed it. Good job. Change it to lower my uh, my top speed. Oh yeah, he is hiking that rock. I think he's trying to catch me on it because I will not survive that rock. I thought we had a shield facing down, but I don't think we do. He's getting out, letting his shields recharge. What's he at? 61%. So we're getting a whittle. Getting a whittle on down. And catch up to that. Now uh, he's slowing down. And now to let our engines cook, because that's what they love to do on the Buccaneer. Still gaining. Yeah, Mark, of course, if he was gonna do that, I probably would have gone with just all badgers, you know. Raven, you uh you okay there, buddy? I, I lost you on scopes. Ha! Russell, maybe. Twelve kilometers. I'm just gonna let a natural Break job, go there. Nice and slow, let the engines cool some. Also, for everyone who is, uh, has joined, sorry if I, uh, I promise I'm not ignoring you. Uh, Raven and I are having a fight and the loser has to carry barrels. So, uh, I'm going all out 
as much as I possibly can to win this fight. Oh, I'm running out of ammo. Maybe I should have gone for that rhino on the top after all. Mmm, that rear shield is a little low. Front shield's a little low now, too. Maybe we should just eat it so we can hit the front. Uh, he's running off. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, well, Nico, I'm trying. Look, any hit I can get. Now there goes the right or the revenant. If he wants to go for a high speed run, I don't know if the desync can take it, but the buck can. I think we're actually going to have to disable the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, overclock on the Panthers. That way we can actually get sustained fire. Ah, oh, Matthew, that's a good question. I mean, I'm already at 73% hydrogen. He can't be that far off. Engines are feeling a little sluggish, though. Already out on top with the Rhino, so this is going to be a, uh, a long fight of attrition. Especially with him putting all that extra power into his forward shields. Let's see if we can get behind that. And, of course, the engines decide to overheat right there. All those rear shields are super low, we just have to keep them that way. Uh, there he goes for running again, come on. Can't have that much fuel left, can he?
Oh, no you don't. Can't run away from me that easily. I mean, desync, maybe. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, he's turned around. <coughs> yeah, t love. if this was a, a Sentinel versus Buccaneer, I would not be here. I mean, Raven, if you're just gonna run away, what, what am I supposed to do with this? What do we got? 22%. Alright, so we're actually, we're getting it. Oh, he's stopping. Time for me to stop. Come on. Yes! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Jeez! Whew! Well, that took uh, forever, but we did it. Whew! That was uh, that was a long fight. Sorry if uh, there's anyone that I ignored. Sorry, <laughs> Raven. Yeah, load, have a go, I bet. Ah, sorry, guys. Quantum drive is now on. Quantum drive is now off. Uh, Sam, it ran out of ammo. Um, it's it's dry, so yeah, we uh, we lost uh. We lost the ammo there. Yeah, Raven, unfortunately that turret tends to get lost and you have to start relying on your turret gunners. Yeah, but I was too. What uh what shields are you going are you running on that uh, that MSR? Uh, welcome back, Gruff. Oh yeah, Hawk, we were just uh we were just testing it out. Uh loser has to buy barrel. Yeah, time to uh, time to put this one up. Where am I? I'm on the I'm on the weird side. So, yeah, there's pet seven. Ah, okay, now I see. Uh yeah, John, I'd probably definitely go uh Sentinel over Warden. Get the EMP. I mean, you get some base distortion. Ah, uh, Graf, I don't think so. I think Barrel will just be excited that someone's actually, you know, reading it. Alright, let's see. Do we have any damage to this thing? I don't see any physical damage. What? No, oh, Hawk! Oh, I could easily eat a Buccaneer. Or eat a Connie with a Buccaneer. Tell you what, double or nothing. Raven, you got a Constellation? Oh, here, Cody, we can we can find out. Uh, hangar 1. Let's see what the repair bill is. You know, we'll send it back down. 
don't think the repair bill will be much. I mean, it's it's a buccaneer, you know. Oh, Raven. Um, I don't I don't actually have one. Um, at the moment. Yeah, cause like the thing, like the the poor constellation. Like as soon as the buccaneer passes it, the buccaneer wins. Like we could we could go rent one. Let's see what is the repair cost? Wow, one hundred thirty six credits. It's probably my engines. Yeah, let's rearm. And I don't think the repairs are actually keeping. Uh, probably, John. Like, the, that's the thing with the, with the poor constellation. It takes so long to turn around that any sort of decent fighter can pretty much just hang behind it. Uh, well, Omega, the bigger, bigger the ship, the, uh, the more I'll have to, uh, change my loadout. Like, uh, let me get that disruptor blaster on there and I could pretty much take out anything. This depends if I can dodge the fire. What's the strategy, Gruff? Yeah, Raven, we can go part two. Um, although, I am going to swap that gun on top. I know, Cody, to be fair, I like everybody here. The, uh, the de-skinning, I mean, come on, that thing is like $3 worth of materials coding it. Oh, yeah, Gruff, no. Buccaneer can easily get behind that. Exactly, did I? It's uh, paper to keep it lightweight. You know, with that paper thin armor. Let me buy this uh, scatter gun here. Mark five. Do you have anything else at size one? Uh, not really. Yeah, exactly. T love like the engines. Oh, they need to fix those engines. I do not see how those are working as, as intended. Oh yeah, Zimmy, I just I don't I don't think I've actually made my way to go buy any attritions at the moment. Ah uh, yeah, John, it's all size threes on the uh, on the Star Runner. Yes, Mag. Yeah. Like, Camrol really was able to, to, to show it like a, a quantifiable manner. Like, the constellation is just so underwhelming right now. Like, the thing handles worse than the, than the caterpillar. That's, that's one of the, the problems with the ship. Come on. Open up. Yeah, Sam, exactly. Eh, you know, I kind of want the Rhino on top just for the range, because that way I can actually hit at, a, at an appreciable distance. Eh, whatever. We'll see what that looks like. Although, we probably need to swap these Gatlings for something then. Uh, 
sucker punches. That could uh, that could be something. Hey, snow, huh? Uh, yes, Resarth. Uh, distortions are actually terribly good this patch. Uh, Omega, I'm up for it again. If Raven is, um. I know one said he was going to go uh, do a trade run. Yeah, um, I'm going to I'm going to pull the buck again, get some fuel into it. But uh, yeah, Resar, the uh, distortion weapons. Like if you have a size five, you can pretty much drop the shields on anything. I mean, Raven, if you want, I'll take it off. I'll replace it with a rhino. Tell you what, tell you what, I'll go, I'll go rhino. How about that? I'll go rhino for for you. Uh, yes, Resarth. So, uh, distortion. Put a size five on the uh, on the sentinel nose, and then uh, like you've got your EMP. Nah, I'll go. I'll go Rhino. Because the distortions right now are just a little, you know. <coughs> eh. Ha <laughs> ha Simon. You know, I used to sell cutlasses. Um. That was like the main thing that I uh, used to sell people on. Never made any commission off it, obviously. Uh, you know, Rizzoth, there's actually quite a few pirate groups doing that now. Uh, I check out Mongol Squad. They actually got a bunch of videos on YouTube, and you can see how they, uh, how they operate. Ah, uh, Raven, sorry, I just, I just changed it over. Uh, Juan, yeah, go to, go to R Corp 157. Uh, buy some fluorine, take it to either Deacons or Grimm. That was Hangar 3. Let me put some fuel back in this <coughs> thing because it's gonna it's gonna need it. Yeah, Simon. Like that's that's the biggest thing about this ship is the uh, the engines cut out super quick. Ah, none available. All right, you know what? We'll just uh, we'll make it work. I'll just have to do this with uh, with sixty four percent. Uh, Resort, they actually fixed uh fixed weapons. They're actually uh pretty pretty good now. We're actually flying all fixed on uh, on this setup. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll just leave that uh, as it is. Mirage and Palisade, yeah, we can. We can. All right, let's get a little bit of a distance, Raven, and we'll uh, we'll go at it again. All right, double or nothing. Oh, my volume seems a little, a little low. All right. Oh yeah, Simon. Like uh, the shields are currently upgraded, so is the power plant. Um, the weapons we we swapped out slightly. Oh, uh, John, this is gonna be a Star Runner. Oh yeah, we lost Omega. He ragged out in the hallway.
Maybe I can land and get some fuel. Yeah, it does. It actually does kind of feel like an X-wing. It's definitely agile enough. Ah, oh, we stopped short. Damn it. I was hoping that it would take a bit longer to uh, to come to a stop. Alright, now we can grab fuel. Yeah, Mac, have a good one, man. I will catch you around. I mean, Raven, if you got anything else you want to try it out in, we can go, you know, something, something else. Vanguard or Hurricane or whatever else. I'm not even really sure what, uh, what turreted fighters we have these days. Hey, it's Ripcord. I remember that guy. Yeah, I'd fight a whole sea. Why not? Oh yeah, Russarth. Like, I mean, if you had a size five distortion, you can put whatever else you want to on the on the nose guns. Ah, gotcha, Raven. Oh, there's Deadeye. That's right, Dancing Hawk. Come on down to Kraken Jack's Drake. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Come on down to Kraken Jack's Discount Drake Emporium, home of the Bargain Buccaneer. Oh, yeah, Gruff. I'm keeping landing gear down until we get started. Oh yeah, it's Deadeye. Uh, Omega, you want Hangar, uh, I think Hangar 9. Yeah, Hangar 9. Hawk plus MSR versus Buck. Deadeye, are you, are you good with that? Do you, do you want that? Hey, Toby. Yeah, Juan, that sounds right. Yeah, two thirty-five is the base price. You'll sell at two ninety-six. Oh, Simon, against a decent pilot, the Gladius would probably win. Because, like, it has agility. And, uh... A bit more armor as well. All right, Deadeye. All right, let me send you a party invite. That way we're not, you know, criminalizing each other. Well, Hawk, that's what we're going to find out. Uh, yeah, Deadeye, we could do a free-for-all. If you guys want, you could go two against me. Although, I'm going to downgrade to running Barrel in the Star Runner if I lose this, since it is stacked against me. Um... But yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. Though I just gotta, you know. Uh, actually, the Gallings can stay where they are. Yeah, Crumpet, I'll catch you around here a little bit. All right, let's get this started.
Yeah, Eric, have a good night, man. All right. Uh oh, lost you guys. Harbinger? Oh, it's Jimothy. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All right. Oh yeah, he's got my engine pretty good already. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of hits here. Yeah, with those uh, ballistics, I'm not going to last long. Ah, nah, Jim, we're fine. It's a friendly fight. Yeah, see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win these passes. Hawk is a bit of a fighter. Oh, no, no, don't help Jack. Don't help Jack. Two on one! Barrel for the barrel god. We're getting some okay hits, but not enough to actually do lasting damage. So that was a good pass. Alright, we're getting some stuff down. Oh, that was a good body hit. I think Deadeye's got me on this one. Whoa! Maybe I should have kept that Revenant after all. Wing hit, wing hit. You can't actually tell if I'm getting any sort of appreciable damage. Ah, uh, there was something. Just lost something. Pick up with the engines. See if we can get a solid pass here. I keep losing these uh, circle streets. Those are good hits. Good hits. Let's 
see. Get some speed. Hey, Nuke. Sorry, you guys have to uh, excuse me. I'm in the uh, the distractions of combat, so reading chat is a little difficult at the moment. Just heard something sail by. Ah, uh, Star Runner still. All right. All oh, right, that's after me. See, I can't, I can't change targets because if I do, he's gonna bushwhack me in that hawk when I, when I least expect it. So I gotta, I gotta deal with that, unfortunately. He's keeping good range, too. Uh, looks like we got a little damage. What are we at? 46%. Yeah, he's doing good at playing keep away. Ah, that's some hits. Whoa! <clears throat> crime stat? What I got a crime stat for? Ah, oh, well, prison time for us, I guess. See if we can close the distance on Deadeye here. Yeah, that hawk is super maneuverable. Very hard for me to get close enough to actually uh, do any decent hits on it. Yeah, like I'm not connecting in these circle straights at all. Especially at these speeds. I'm gonna see if I can get it to slow down just a little bit. There's that Star Runner. Focus on him for a bit. Wait for Dead Eye to come back in. Oh, that could have been bad. There, Star Runner's there. Lost the hawk on scopes. Let's focus on the Star Runner. Ah, sorry, did I? Okay, I got gotcha. you. Sorry, I just saw the chat. I see it coming back in. Oh yeah, I see the tumble. Just rush, just, just shut down. Oh, Matthew, I'm trying. <clears throat> I just can't seem to get those last few hits. Like, uh, I kind of wish I had some tarantulas or, or something. Do that Star Runner coming in close. 
Yeah, I think those uh, those auto aiming for the uh, for the fixed guns is actually what's messing me up. They're actually not seeming to aim right. That was a few solid hits. Yeah, Hawk, that's true. Engines, too. My god, the engines. Oh, is it now? Need to get a little bit closer. I can do it right now. Like, I'm waiting for an engine burnout so I can get in close and capitalize on it, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, really, Moon? Sorry, you guys have to give me a bit to catch up on chat after the, uh, after the fight. Oh, no, Toby. Missiles ruins the uh, the sportsmanship of it. Here we go. Those were good hits. Never, Omega! Wow, do we actually fly back to Grim Hex? We're just gonna come to a stop. Let some things cool. Where's that Star Runner? Uh, he is stuck. Dead Eyes four kilometers out. Oh. I lost, uh, alright. Well, let's see if we can finish off the uh, the Star Runner, shall we? <clears throat> oh, you're on a bottom turret. Did not expect that. Ah, oh, they're both on turrets. Okay. That. Actually, I could probably stay on that turret blind spot and then just do it like that. Hold on, what is that? Is that... Ah, it's Deadeye. Alright. Yeah, I think since uh, he's lost some maneuvering thrusters, it's hard to get back around. <clears throat> Gonna go with those micro straights. Others should be hitting. Here we go. That's a few good hits. 
problem is we're not going to drop a shield, so we have to rely on those size ones to actually poke through. And that's going to take a very long time. Yeah, we're trying to do this fight without missiles, just because it <clears throat> feels unsportsmanlike. Ah, gotcha. Whoa, that was definite desync there, my god. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it is a planned two versus one. Well, there's that crime stat again. Hey, Porco! Yeah, with those thrusters, my bad aim, it's going to be really hard to actually get anything done here. I wish I kept that distortion now. I'd be willing to just eat the, uh, the scatter guns. We're good in good hits, but nothing to actually sustain damage. Shields and dodging is too good. Uh, affirmative, Porco, it is a bug. We're currently fighting both a uh, Star Runner and a Hawk. That's the Star Runner. Let's swap off that Star Runner right quick. Sustained fire going. Oh no, that's the ammo I need. Climbing, leave that where it is. Yeah, I might just have to go with an all ballistic loadout next time. Those shields aren't uh, aren't too troublesome. We're just not eating through that shield. Oh, 
Oh, Toby. <clears throat> We're not taking that many hits. Mostly they're all energy weapon anyway. So it's the, uh, it's the shield eating. See, what is he at? 82%? Ugh, that's gonna take a while. Where's that hawk? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the Star Runner, like, again, I'm mostly using energy weapons myself. So, um, you know, same thing. It's like the, the shields are holding pretty damn well. Especially since it's basically Vanguard style as far as components go. Oh yeah, Arok. Like it's got Vanguard components, it's fast. And like with those shields, like I'm not gonna get through with these energy weapons. Especially now that I'm out of ammo. And uh yeah, so this is gonna be a super fun fight. I actually, uh, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to do this fight. I'm out of ammo. I don't have enough power to, uh, to sustain through those shields. Should have gone Tarantulas. Maybe I can outlast him in Hydrogen. Let's see if we'll swap to the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, mediocre. I don't think I'm making those shields. Raven, what uh, what are you running on those? Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get through on that hawk. Oh yeah, Hawk for sure. Uh, one, we are currently, um, I don't know. Wow, FR 76s. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll do it all right. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to overclock now for sure. Don't think it's gonna help, but uh, you know. Yeah, Raven, I don't think I'm getting through that. Maybe if I had that Revenant. But, uh... Yeah, definitely not now. Power plant starting to go out there a little bit. Oh, really, Hawk? All right, yeah, we can do that. I mean, they're just size ones, but you know, I can hear them trying to spin. I need a uh, an ammo pickup. Like the desync or what, but it just doesn't seem like we're really uh, connecting on each other. And we're out of the asteroids now, too. Yeah, those 
point FR seventy six is I'm not I'm not getting through that. Like I can hope for a shield hole, but that's that's kinda cheesing it. What? Why why did that go blue? You died? What? How did you die? Oh, Renee, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, uh, the weird slot machine sound. Like, it's nice for, like, 20 seconds. I feel like this fight has gone on for a very long time. Longer than it probably should have. Oh, he's parked too. Star Runner's parked. So what is this? We we call this a draw? This feels like a draw. Ooh, we are leaning to the right just a little bit. Oh man. What was that like 40 minutes? I grew up. I don't think it works like that. Alright, so the Star Runner is effectively disabled with only one person and no pilot guns. I can't get through the Star Runner. I definitely can't hit that hawk. Wow, that is a nub. That is a potato ship. Dead Eye, I am impressed. You have kept that thing flying as long as you have. So, yeah. I think I think that's a draw, guys. Wow. Not the most exciting conclusion. But uh Yeah. You know, if it being a draw, I don't I don't think anyone actually has to run barrel. However, I have got to go to jail. Yeah, Steve, I think it's a draw. Cause like I can't hit that hawk consistently to actually get the shields down, because I'm out of uh, ballistic ammo. Uh same thing applies to the uh to the Star Runner. Oh, yeah, Emily. <laughs> Victory for my pride. That's, uh, that's fair. Uh, tell you what, though. I have got to, uh... Where is it? I have one ripper left. All right, well, that's, that's fine. Actually, hold on. Change into some fancy armor first. Time to go, uh, fix my crime stat. Yeah, there was, there was no, no clear winner there, which I think is alright. It was fun. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? GP, GP. I should use the nerf ammo in there. Did I... did I forget to buy... oh no, that's my sidearm. Well, we're going to try to avoid getting sentenced to death. Um, we're going to see if we can... last long enough to hack down our crime stat, although I don't know what we got a crime stat from. That's the... that's the thing.
may have got to find a better way to uh, to organize all this. Cause, oosh. This takes forever. But yeah, Gruff, I want to stay alive. Contact. You know, we'll just we'll just keep moving. Wow, I like how we're getting pushed to the left. We really did take some engine damage. We're gonna hit our asteroid, and I'm gonna die. Yep, I see the asteroid. Uh, no, Gruff, she's a mod. It just wasn't popping up as blue. For whatever reason. Alright, Ripper is equipped. Medpins are equipped. Just, uh... Let's do this! That's still plotted? Yes, it is. Yeah, she's still in my just for whatever reason it wasn't blue. All right. So we spent like 45 minutes in combat that didn't actually go anywhere. And somehow I got a crime stat for it. Uh yeah, Melodox. All right, so yeah, so we definitely took some engine damage on the left. Other than that, she uh, she looks pretty okay. Oh wait, not Gala, Selin. Oh, that's great. Korea's on this side. That means it's uh, easy to jump to for other people. Oh, yeah, Hawk. I heard about that. Yeah, Moon. Uh, Toby ended disappointingly. No one won. It was a stalemate. Um, no one could really damage each other to the point that, uh, we could actually do anything. Like, yeah, Ducky, we're on a party, though, so we shouldn't have to, uh, shouldn't have to worry about that. Oh, that better be turrets looking at me. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Someone's on their way. I wonder if it's AI, though. Contact B. Wow, I can't even look up because of the armor. Good Raven. Yeah, the splines. The splines were a bad idea. Oh, okay, Evan, it's you. Good deal. Uh, you know, Juan, that's a good question. After I had to, uh, to reset my user folder. 
I, uh... Oh no, let's find out. Is it under graphics? Here's field of view. Oh, no, where it was. Alright. Uh, set to 90 right now. Uh, yeah, Toby, I landed above. That way the, uh, the turrets couldn't shoot me. Because what a lot of people do is they like to shoot your ship and uh, make sure you can't escape. That's also an early warning system to let you know that someone is on their way. That, for example. So, it's getting blown up. Which means we can expect someone soon. Which means we can be ready for it. Granted, that might also be an AI. No, not that. Um... Uh, power, I think we're on, uh, Australia still. Yep, someone just blew us up. That may have been AI, may have been someone else. I bet they're going to land on one of the top pads, so... We'll find out. hunting a bounty, that's where I would go. Everything seems clean. Yeah, I gotta get back to hack it down now. That's what I hate about the Ripper. I need to go pick up some of those ice picks. I just, I had a whole bunch of Rippers, so I've been using those. Yeah, Gruff, that could have been it. I'm just double checking. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed going to prison. I just don't want to go there now. Alright, yeah, it looks like that was AI. Oh, well, that's a shame. That means our early warning is out. Just have to listen for ships landing. And once we uh, once we finish this winter fail, <clears throat> I'll probably be logging for the day. Ta -da. That is taking some time. anyone up there. Oh, 
All right. And dismiss the rest. <laughs> Sorry, Omega. Had to, uh, had to hack down my crime stuff. Let's see, Crusaders there. That means we'll probably land that pad if anyone's coming in. Oh, really? Dead eye? That's it? You know what? I think we'll be fine in the next, you know, 10 seconds. And we're clean. Welcome back to the world, civilian. Alright, well, we survived. That means we should wake up at Grim Hex. It's squeaky clean. And with no one the wiser. Uh, maybe. We are we stuck on black screen? Now, uh, Omega, sadly, I'm going to I'm going to have to go, but I can always help tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go a couple minutes early today to uh, to pick up a few things. Ugh, yeah. Looks like we're stuck. Let me exit to menu. Ah, there we go. Wow, right, right as I go to hit the button. Alright, so, we survived. Back at Grim. Ah, I got you, Omega. Yeah, sorry, man. Uh, maybe, maybe day after. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to roll now, unfortunately. But we will continue tomorrow and have a bit of fun. Get up some more trade again. Maybe do some combat in a, uh, in a bigger fighter. So until then, I want you guys to have a good night. Have fun. Stay safe. Stay dry. Stay warm and all that. So I know the. Uh, Northern Hemisphere, it's getting a bit colder at the moment. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. And until tomorrow, keep on trekking, guys. Have a good night, and I will catch you around.